mistake. One, two, three, one, two, three. Can y'all hear me? Oh, it's so good to be back with Anna Wilds. No, oh, I should have given. Not Please don't, don't do that while, don't update or refresh when I had a tweet saved, ready to go. That's rude. But, oh, where was I? I should, so I'm here. Send it there, and yeah. Just <laughs> there for now. Hope y'all are doing all right. Oh yeah. I've got the other place so I can totally send this to. Out of there. <laughs> I guess, Coil. Not I need to edit the title of this. Revisit. Not revisit. Uh, parentheses. Spoiler warning. Just because, in case someone is like, oh, I'm gonna watch some. some Outer Wilds, and they just casually spoil things. And also. hearing about this ages ago that if you leave the title screen going you'll notice that the uh, the title itself is starting to get distorted and fall apart and also you'll start seeing more and more stars exploding <laughs> no I you got a point there. They should know what they're getting to if they're in Outer Wild stream. But I mean, you know, well, okay, I guess they should know what they're getting into if they're gonna, like, just jump to one. You do, ha like, you know, <laughs> like, yeah, and, oh, hey, been on Twitch app on the Xbox to tell me started. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Twitch app ain't that great, but... <laughs> yeah, alright. Let's start it up, because this account has never been through out of while, so we'll get to see the beginning again. Which is... Oh! Wait, no, that's the ship rotating on the planet. Okay. Uh, for a second, I thought the, uh... I trust the ship was launched in space. But, yeah, I think... Archaeologist run? Oh, wait, that's... No, it? Yeah, sure. First, I need to make sure... Uh, I never actually talked to Gabro, which, you know, the first few loops, which isn't too important. But, you know, I want to see that. <sighs> also, yeah, I should probably start up soon, because uh, the interesting thing is to see the title, you know, the loop basically happen on the title screen. Uh, it does take a full 22 minutes for it to, you know, for for everything to fall apart. So, let's begin. Also, I need to change my uh, gamer tag at some point. Because, like, the reason why it says Kitty Herder 4, 9, something, something. Those numbers? Is it because I said it to that? No, I said to Kitty Herder because it, Kitty Cat Herder was too long. And then it's like, well, because this is your... I, 
your first, you know, your account name or whatever, we're just gonna slap some numbers on it, and it's like, alright. Ah, uh, remember to speak to Hal about seeing bright lights, too. Alright. Cool. Gone. I haven't seen this game in forever. Hello, Slate. <laughs> First loop only when they move the shell on the cliff edge, huh? Ah! God, I forgot what voices I gave these characters, but there's our pilot back from your pre launch camp out on the stars of sea. So it's launch day, eh? Seems like only yesterday you joined the space program, and suddenly here you are. Leaving on the first solo voyage. What do you say? Ready to get this beauty off the ground? It's all fueled up and ready to go. Um. You sure you fixed the retro rockets? Only a problem one time. And then maybe a few times after that. But hey, no reason to dwell on the past, right? Anyway. <laughs> just need to get the launch codes from Horn Fails at the uh, observatory. Before we can lift off. Just bring those here once you say the goodbyes or whatever. God. I'm going to evenly cook this marshmallow. Good marshmallow. God, we're in it! It's, it's a song, it's the banjos. God. Do I remember how to fly things in this game? Let's talk to Mika. Hey, it's you! Slay Slady blasting off in the ship today. Really excited to see the launch. Aren't you gonna go in space, aren't you? You better have been have changed your mind. I wanna practice with a pro before I leave. Oh, you're just saying that, but if you really want to practice with me, I guess I could help you out a little bit. Try to land on the geyser pool. Show me what you got. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is gonna be kind of a... <laughs> I forgot to put in the tweet that this may be a bit spoilerific for Out of Wilds, but... Ah, uh, we're just kind of taking a moment to revisit it. And go over some things that I haven't seen before. Or may have missed out. But, uh... <laughs> what a landing! I guess that's why Slate lets you fly the real thing, huh? Yep. Oh, oh, that was an eclipse. Huh. I forgot, yeah, no. Alterock. Just vibing up there. Ah, it's so nice to see the beginning of this game again. Look at these weirdos. Love them. Love it. Love all these agender peeps. Hey, Ohashlin. I hear you're leaving a seek adventure amongst the stars. Or some may say amongst. Uh, among us. No, I'm not gonna. Do it. <laughs> among us stars. Anyway, <laughs> when you return, let's let's you, me, and Goslin open a bottle of the good stuff. I'm only seeking to venture amongst one star. Actually, other stars are too far away. The good stuff is less. The good stuff is less delicious sap wine and more daunting digestive challenge. An Irish stomach is the mark of true hearthy, my friend. Hunter Gart gatherer lifestyle stems from trial and error, by which I mean our ancestors surviving a lot of bad things. 
know what? Ain't new dirt. I'm helping te teach Esker to tap trees next, next time they return from the Altar Rock. And they bring me Lunar Sap. I could turn. <laughs> I could tap Moon Wine. Night. Is it night already? What? I don't remember things going to night. I remember having more time. Uh, would you start the game? <laughs> um, kind of worried. Among us, them, them get drunk. Yep. Hey, them grandpa getting drunk. Ah. Oh. I forgot you start with this. <laughs> Let me check it with the chat. Uh, I tested back in the in the day. Day in the loop thing is uh, three. Oh, three in game days long. All right. Casco, <laughs> you think you have time, except for the first loop. Other than the comet disappearing, time is frozen. All right. The comet is hard coded to disappear at a certain point. I have to wake up. Not not one. <laughs> it that checks. Good now. Oh wait, no. You can zoom in. Hello. Yeah, I forgot that you start with the light. Let's see here. Where's the other astronomical bodies? I guess I can't see them yet. Wait. Okay, no, that's not astronomical body. <laughs> ah, your actual blasting off and. <laughs> Oh, you actually blast off that thing, huh? They don't. <laughs> they really don't explode as often anymore. I'm told my odds of survival are statistically quite high. Yeah, space program certainly come a long way. I should probably thank you for causing fewer flash fires <laughs> than your prede predecessors. By the way, good luck with those retro rockets. Yep. Oh, the satellite camera, yeah. This projector is linked to our Sky Shutter satellite that is currently orbiting Timber Hearth. The satellite is equipped with two onboard cameras. See if you can take a snapshot of our village. I have a cat that wants to go out of the room in a bit, but this is always fun. For instance, this is basically in real time. And oh, what's that? Ominous runes? Runes? Don't worry about it. God. Fun times. Postcards from Ori. <laughs> God, explode. I mean, it probably should have. It felt like the, uh... The satellite was barely... You know, missed. Getting hit by, uh... <laughs> getting hit by, like, a geyser or something. Also... There you go, kitties. Yeah, any more goodies around here? Anything that might have been added? Hard to tell. Ah! A few pieces of our... spacesuit. Oh, specifically our spacesuit. The one we fly around. Ending spoilers, but music truly make you go explode. It really does, but in a good way. Love geyser blocking out the sun. Hey, 
Hey, Marl. So it's launch day, huh? Hall's going to miss you. Speaking of launch day, I was thinking about it. That platform those ships launch from is getting old. Isn't it about time you build a new, less flammable one? That big tree in the village would be a perfect choice. Someone wouldn't mind helping out in the space program. Just say the word. The current launch pad is fine, thanks. Nice try. We all know you have it out for that tree. The launch pad is flammable? We all know you have it out for that tree. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Your character is so default they don't get a unique suit. I mean, you know what? I like to imagine uh, the self is the, like, they, like, after that, they're like, you know what? What if we start building, like, a standard suit? What if we, like, actually try to have standards for our construction of spacesuits? <laughs> uh, what? No. I just think it's, uh, the way it's in the way and someone ought to chop it down, you know? Specifically me. <laughs> oh, you think this has to do with the time I fell out of it and broke my arm? Ah, oh, that was when we were hatchlings. We would hold a grudge for that long. Ah! Oh. There goes the banjo. Of one of my favorite Harthians. I wonder if we'll have time to visit them. I forgot you can zoom. But oh, neat. God, do you really get a, quite a bit of detail from the zoom? I forgot about that. Ah, it's so good being back in this game and seeing the start again. I'm not going to jump in that geyser like I did, I think, the first time I streamed. Like, oh, let's see if we can go in the geyser. She says before having her spacesuit and drowning to death. That was fun, but let's not repeat that. <laughs> let's not repeat that. Ah. Uh, Oh, let's see here. Check it with chat. I think uh, self is meant to be the pinnacle. Hence being the one to get the translator. You know, you're right. Uh, <laughs> but individuality, aside from Timber Hearth, what planet would you want to live on? That Vessel's pretty cool. But it is in the hell zone. <laughs> the, zone <it's laughs> the zone I hate that I will have to visit at some point. <laughs> in this revisit and not get eaten by a big fish. Um, know what? If the gravity wasn't... Okay. If I had some way of... What? Know what? Honestly, if I had some way to not be obliterated by the gravity, a uh, giant steep. Like, that'd be... Like, you know, you get cool beaches, you get flung into space. Fun times, you know? Oh, <laughs> Pidman. Uh, vessel. For real, though, probably DLC world. Ah! Can't wait to see that. But, nice. Oh, there, Space Cadet. I hear you're leaving the crater today. If you meet any other travelers up there, remind them to take proper care of their instruments, won't you? Ah, tell me about the travelers' instruments. Oh, sure. I made all their instruments, you know? Let me see. There's Ch Church's drums, Ryback's banjo, Gabbro's flute, and Felds Feldspar's harmonica. Of course, though, Feldspar's been missing for a long time. Sometimes it feels like just yesterday. They were playing their harmonica all around the campfire. Hmm. Anyway, here, meeting in space? That'll be one of our one of the space programs of the travelers. If you feel like, feel like company, you can always pull out your signal scope and track them down. Observatory. I'm not gonna lie, a part of me is like, maybe I should jump in the geyser. But no, I'd rather not. <laughs> not now, at the very least. Oh, the kiddos. Love these kids. Tefra. Galena. Alright, thanks for the 
redemption of points. I'm doing a stretch as I speak. It's cool. I want to live on the twins because I have caveman brain. No, it. That's valid. The 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 uh, <laughs> the the hourglass twins are really great. They're really spectacular. Uh, Pidman, have you ever tried the time stop glitch? I have not. Uh, Kiskoil, I also want to take a vacay to the sun station. Yeah. <laughs> God, the most terrifying <laughs> vacay. You know what? Since I'm revisiting things, let's also play ahead and go seek. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, astronaut. If it isn't my favorite troublemaker. We wanted to play hide and seek, but Moraine won't let us borrow their signal scope because it's really delicate and not supposed to be thrown around like that. Hey, hey, can we use your signal scope? Can we? Can we please? We'll even let you be it. Sure, let's play. <laughs> Here are the rules. Helena and me will hide with these radios and you'll use your signal scope to find us. Last one to be found wins. Okay, close your eyes and start counting. Close all four of our eyes. Ta -da. <laughs> Catch it with uh, chat. Uh, Pitman. Now you go to the museum's backyard. Oh, yeah, sure. Just jump at the wall after you smoke the horn fells. Uh, to avoid entering the room, the statue again. Yes, Coil. I feel nothing. Not even death in the condition of being a looper. <laughs> Pitman. Takes a lot of attempts. Yeah, I uh, don't know if I'll try it now. Okay. Troublemaker spotted. Hey, kiddo. Sorry for the sound. <laughs> Oh my, this waterfall's alive. Oh, you found me! But my hide spot's super good! I don't forget, you gotta find both of us, okay? Alright. Please, kids, don't fall into the water. Well, okay, I don't think it'd be deadly or anything. I won? I'm happy. Uh, thanks for playing with us. Oh, one of these kids. And their radio. Playing the beta version of the, the theme. Did, did your jumps get improved, or has it just been so long that I forgot how good your jumps were in this game? And came up with chat again, because Coil, thank God for the mods. Avoid having to do that tedious glitch. Yeah. Uh, I've had to hard mods on the bone box. <laughs> yeah, it's going all that damp waterfall has been unbalanced since the dawn of time. Yeah. Yeah. And let's talk to Spinal. Oh, wow. I can't believe we're talking to a Steven Universe character in Out of Wilds. It's so wow. <laughs> Fishing rhyme, fishing rhyme, singing helps me pass the time. Oh, you're leaving the crater? This will all be a little busier without you around to lend a hand. That big water planet, giant sea, that's where I'd go. Why's that? One time after the rest of the village was left to sleep, and there was just the two of us sitting around the campfire, Gabbro told me about the first ship to giant sea. They land the ship easily enough in the waves, but couldn't see too far down on account of how murky the water was, I guess. Too dark. Gabbro wants to see what lay beneath the surface, so they decided to travel deeper. They traveled down and down. But suddenly, Gabbro couldn't go any further. <laughs> Where could this be so rude? No, no, tell me more. I will. It's just pausing dramatically. As though it exercising a will of its own, the water was refusing to let Gabbro go any deeper. It held Gabbro back. Almost, as if it was trying to protect them. 
something. And then, in the terrible darkness, Gavro saw it. The tentacles of hideous beast. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I mean, that's what Gavro said anyway. Whatever it is, Gavro out pretty good. Everyone wants to hear new stories after Bell's campfire, you know? Make sure you bring some back with you. Um, also, uh, <laughs> going back to places I want to live in, because I have a quick one-track mind. Whitehole Station is still enough for anyone. Oh, yeah, it is such a great Whitehall space, and also I hate this waterfall. It is so unbalanced, unless you're looking directly at it, and that's the reason why my streams uh, have volume on the Xbox. It's set for the game audio to be 60% of what I'm hearing. Specifically because of that waterfall. It's so damn loud. Also, let's look at, uh... Talk to child throwing rocks at uh, the irradiated zone. Hi, astronaut. You know the patch of ghost matter inside this fence? Dawson said it used to be bigger when they were asked where a hatch them, because ghost matter evaporates. It just takes a super long time to go away. Oh, there's still ghost matter in the village when I'm growing up. Ghost matter is awesome. Ghost matter is super cool. I'll burn the heck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard touching it hurts so bad it feels like your whole hand's on fire. Try not to walk into any in space, okay? That sounds super bad and painful. Danger. Inside of this fence is a pocket of ghost matter. A strained and dangerous substance that's invisible to naked eyes. Good news is you can detect ghost matter with a camera. Moving through ghost matter is uniquely painful and will probably kill you. Don't complain to me if you hurt yourself fooling around. Hornfells. Oh, you can move the camera around. Because uh, Cole won't have, won't have to worry about ghost matter burning you when you're getting melted by the sun in due time. Yep. Yep. Bonk. I forget if there's more ghost matter up there. Oh yeah, the Zero G cave. Let's get one. I saw smoke coming from a uh, young bark crater up north and figured I should go check it out. Yeah, you can use the scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Tech height. Er. Yeah, tech tight. Alright, tech tight. East, know my runes. South, Quantum Grove crater. Northwest, Geyser Mountains. North, Young Bark Crater. Scout Launcher. Hello. That's fun. We're not gonna. We're probably not gonna mess with that too much. But yeah, oh, young bark creator. Ah, uh, Pitman, I love that you can see Tiktite's prosthetic. Emptying your foot from radiation burns. Yeah, that's. Oh, uh, absolutely. I mean, like real life radiation doesn't burn like that. But I mean, yeah, no, this is like the fantasy ra radiation. There's all sorts of fucked up stuff. Let's talk to Moraine. I love their orange signal scope. Hmm? Oh, hello, astronaut. Ah, uh, this is good weather for your launch, right? <laughs> That's lucky. Ah, oh, what are you up to? I'm using my signal scope to pick up sounds from distant planets. 
It's a, it's set to the Out of Wild Adventures frequency, so I can pick up the Traveler's music. Last night I heard Rybex banjo coming from Brittle Hollow. Oh, that means they're safe. I can hear different plants too. It depends on the time of day or night it is, since different planets are in the skies at different times. Sentinel scopes are cool. Equip. Let's blind ourselves by looking at the sun. Sherry sound. Ah! There's the drums. Oh, they're their ship. We'll get there soon enough. Just, it's so great just revisiting this game. It's an absolute delight. Which, um, I don't think I need to go in the Zero G cave. Oh, wait, who are you? Oh, Gossin, yeah, I forgot that you're here. Hey, I thought I might see you before the big launch. Never gain, never gain the better of you? Or nerves gain the better of you? Right, like you weren't nervous for your first fight. Hey, don't worry about it. Your nerves are between you, me, and the vast endless space. But really, you'll do fine out there. I'd worry more about the ship if I were you. Hopefully that lunatic slate has at least fixed the retro <laughs> rockets. So listen, there's a satellite, which is definitely not just a piece of broken mining equipment set up down in Zero-G Cave and need of repairs. If you're looking for a little last-minute uh, Zero-G practice, head down the lift and into the cave, or don't. As long as he's confident, you can make your ship re repairs in space. Ah. No, I had one la one re one repaired satellite coming up. We're let's do this real quick. And <laughs> cool, get to it and try not to concuss yourself right before your first launch. And <laughs> go ahead and chat again. Oh, I think ghost matter radiation is just like. Hyper cool, hyper cold, like described. So it's like instant frost burn or something. Interesting. Because Coil, I miss one of the twins had giant cacti. Now they just have the annoying little cactus balls that violence you. Yeah, they really do violence you. Also, I love this cave. I forgot that cave was like this. You know, with the. this ore. Or whatever. This rock it's made out of. We have some mad jumps here. Zero G cave. Let's see it up. Currently at 0.5 gravity. Oh wait! <laughs> I love the flask of uh, their sap wine that they got. God, they have a lot in store down here. Oh, I guess they do, you know, they're planning to do quite a bit of mining. And the, uh, that knife. On there. Love it. And, uh, Pidman, you may want to have bonus streams of working towards archaeologists and other base game Chivos. Maybe this first run could be... Get the ending on your first loop, Chivo, since you said this- Oh, this is a new- yeah, yeah. Since parts of the DLC is based on the main game progress. Oh! Oh, okay, then yeah, I'll definitely start doing streams of this. Getting, you know, main game progress and then, you know, when I feel ready, hit up, you know, get the DLC and hit that up. But yeah, let's talk to Tough. Hey, hey, nice of you to drop down. Gain some, uh, give me the dirt. <laughs> ah, no, I'm getting some zero G time in. Ah, ah, so you're going in there in the cave? Hmm. What? No, I'm fine. Great, great, and fine. I, you don't look fine. Uh, well, you know how I hate the cave, so I don't know why you're making me talk about it. For, ah, uh, now I got hand sweats. I'm uh, sorry, tough. Zero G cave. All right, now to get re. God, it's almost like I've never stopped playing.
Because I'm just... Yeah, no, it just feels right. To be controlling this. Like, yeah, no, this is how you're supposed to play games, you know? Then again, I did stream this, like... How many streams? Like, I want to say, on the top of my head... About... Um, about how many? About 15? And, oh yeah, check it back, check again, Pin, uh, Pinrun. I'll DM you the I coordinates on Discord if you want to go for first loot, Chibo. Hmm, <laughs> know what? Hmm. Oh, that could be fun, actually. Oh. I'm just trying to remember. Do I know how to get to the vessel? Just intuitively. Like, I could... If it was back when I was playing this game, like, every week, then yeah, I think I'd be able to, like, get there. But... Yeah, I think I'd probably have to go do some progress. I <laughs> goodness. Um, but yeah, I'll check in the chat again. Cause, oh, oh goodness, that'd be so difficult if you haven't probably trained for a first loop win. Especially if you're getting back into this after a year. I mean, yeah. True. I mean, I feel like it... Right. Uh, okay. Yeah, it may take a bit. But I feel like it's something that could be done. Also, I love the tape. Because, of course, we... We hold it together with tape. I'm guessing we also weld it. I hope we're also welding this. Where's that... the broken piece. Oh, okay, there it is. Oh, okay, it's in there. Training simulation complete. God. What? Bonk. <laughs> um, I was expecting to bonk, but alright. Good to know that I'm still haven't remastered these controls or anything. But I still remember them well enough. Admiring the suit for a bit. Oh yeah, um check it back with chat again. Let's see here. Ah uh, oh yeah. Goodman, first loop path could be hourglass wind to swoop by, get the desist signal broadcast, hit up the core, grab core, go dr Direct to Dark Bramble, follow Distress Signal, you scout to fly into Red Star. Hmm. Red Star? Uh, anyway. 
Because Coil, well, if you get the frequency for Disaster Signal real quick, you can use that to track the Escape Pod 3. Yeah, which will lead you to the dark, er, to the vessel. Alright, I got Pitmon. Alright, fly out the Bramble, then re-enter to get straight shot to the... Oh yeah, that the Red Star, that's what I mean. Fly right out of the Bramble, then re-enter uh, to get the straight shot to the eggs. You have all the time in the world to prep ahead of activating the statue. I think you can hear a welder going off. I do love the tutorial echoes. Uh, the Ash Twin Project. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, but, so, yeah. Do you want to hunt down Gabro for lore or go for a first loop Chivo? Red Star, the Bramble, where the eggs are. Now I I want to talk to Bram <laughs> Gabro. Uh, Gosselin. Ah, nicely done. Of course, it will be a little more stressful when you're hauling through space, but just remember your training and try not to hit anything big. I see your itch and gal Galthus rock, so get the launch codes from the observatory and get out of here already. Best of luck out there. And hey, try avoiding getting yourself killed now that I put so much time in training you. Got it? <sighs> Sarah G. Cave. <laughs> Do you ever see this one? Yeah. Come say hi to your old flight coach before launch. Get zero G training in if you want a refresher. Oh, you terrible, terrible bastard moon. But yeah, I'm trying to think. I, I honestly do want to. Ah, uh, now you got me thinking of first loop. But I, I do want to talk to Gabbro. Talk to the homie. <laughs> also, you're making a mistake here with your your route, your route for uh for first loop. If I'm beating this game at all, I'm going to have to talk to uh, Sol Solanum. Oh shit, pink! <laughs> Sup, Raiders? <laughs> also, uh, Keskoil, <laughs> I would live on Paul's lantern. Goodness. Squid Raid. Hey, Pinker! <laughs> uh, nice to see you. I'm revisiting, uh,. <laughs> Outer Wilds, so like, spoiler warning, because I've beaten this game before, I'm just kind of revisiting it, and actually thinking of potentially either just more goofing off, or also trying to do a run of beating the game on a, fir a single loop. How far are you in? Oh, well, technically I restarted the game. There, this, this account I'm playing on for the expo and has never been out of wilds. I have another account where I play the game on, and I beat the entire thing. Well, before the, they had DLC stuff, but like, so like I have beaten the whole game before, but this account is fresh. So we're just kind of talking to people, doing everything before hitting up the uh, the main plot, and just kind of deciding: Do I want to do Do I want to talk to this hom homie? You know, on their oboe. Or do I try to plan a route? Plan a route to be <laughs> to get to the true ending. Ah, uh, Pinkaru. So you could beat this, <laughs> beat this in five minutes, because they know where to go and what to do. I mean, it's a bit more than five minutes for me, but yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Do the Grand Tour. Yeah, I mean... Know what? If there is someone I absolutely need to visit, if I beat this game, <laughs> I want to visit her. And I think, if you know what who I'm talking about, then that's all I have to say. But, I'm trying to think, do I have enough time? Oh, well, I mean, this would be the start of the loop as soon as I actually do things. So, you know what? It does have a hurry up and wait bit. This game. <laughs> uh, Pinman, 
Uh, this does have a hur hurry up and wait bit. Uh, Pink Pinkaru, this game is a feast for the eyes, ears, and mind. It really is. You must. Visiting her won't take long. Just blink a lot. <laughs> no, you're right. I know. Yeah, we're we're okay. This first time through, I don't think I'm gonna make it. But we're going to try to get through. <laughs> Uh, the game in one loop. Oh boy. Alright, no, we haven't started yet, so I'm going to take time to appreciate everything here. Hornfills, Gosselin, Feldspar, Esker, Slate. And the Harthian taking the photo. Big thanks to these additional founding members of Outer Wild Ventures, without whom we'd never gone off the ground. Ah, the Kickstarter. Matthew Steinhauser and, and uh Ether Ethering Etherington Quart <laughs> Quarter up the Pie. Okay, Jordan Smith. Okay. I don't know how many okay, there's not that many, but out of Wild Adventures, founding members, clockwise and top left. Horn Fields, Gosselin, Slate, and Feldspar. Out of Wild Adventures, Timberheart's first and only space program was found to explore the farthest reaches of our solar system. Feldspar was the first Arthian to be inter <laughs> intentionally launched into space. They completed the first orbit around Timberheart and later made the first of what would be many landings on our moon. The Altar Rock. Hey, Hal. Hey, hey, it's my favorite astronaut. Launch day's at last, huh, buddy? It's the, it's the Translator Tools Inaugural Flight 2. I'm so excited to make it Ah, uh, just to think, you'll be able to translate any Nomai text you want, anywhere you are. The two of us put a lot of hours in, in uh, inventing that tool, so don't break it, okay? <laughs> oh, jeez, do not break it. Okay, ignore me, okay? I'm just nervous. Nervous. I'm not even the one going to space. How are you feeling? I'm terrified. <laughs> ah, don't let me make you nervous. You've been trained for this day since we were both hatchlings, remember? You'll do great. I promise. So what's the dirt? You here to see the new Nomai statue? New statue? Oh, you have heard? Gapro brought it back with them from Giant's Deep and Hornsfield's just finished prepping it for display. This is... This is it right here. Me, huh? Makes me wish we could see what a real life Nomai looked like. Guess this is just as close as the world get. Check it out. Looks like they had fur. Fur is weird. This is the first fully intact statue ever found, you know? And for how old it is, it's in great shape. Ah, oh, jeez, I got carried away again. Go on, you have a ship to launch. Take care of yourself out there. You hear? Love these goats. Appreciate these goats. Uh, this remarkable intact statue was carved by the Nomai, an ancient species who dwelled in our solar system thousands of years ago. The statue provides us with our most detailed look at a Nomai yet, or at the Nomai, who appear to have been covered with a layer of fur. Note the decorative jewelry that has been carved as part of the antlers. Although the artifacts and structures have been found in almost every planet in the solar system, we still have no idea where the species came from or what happened to them. Oh, and I. I should also point out, wrong, their horns meet up together to form one shape, which is really cool. And, uh, <laughs> checking out with chat again. I just blink a lot. Uh, cause Cole, if you go to the place where she is first, then you have time to get to the project. Oh! The main issue will be finding your ship again, though. Giant steep starting location to keep your ship. Oh, oh, check your pause options before we start running the, the meter. It's called No My Pretty. Hexahorns. Yeah. Resume options quit. Uh. Autopilot. Yeah. Auto, auto boost? Yeah, that yeah, seems good for now. But, yeah. 
The freeze time options, yep. No, I, I don't really. <laughs> I feel like I need to hurry up and make my decisions. It's almost uh, an hour of streaming, but I know there's like some new things I haven't seen yet. I think. Oh, the freeze uh, when talking to others not on by default. Yeah. Oh no, for an, until the loop actually starts, I'll keep that off because they turn off their animations when you're talking to them. But yeah, what you see here are parts of No My Skeleton. We can tell from the skulls that they possess antlers and, quite unusually, only three eyes. The No My body was most likely adapted for living exclusively on land. The difference in the No My anatomy, such as their shockingly fragile bone structure, shows us that Harthians couldn't have descended from No My ancestors. It's not clear where the No My originated from or why they disappeared. We hope to find more clues to this puzzle as we explore our solar system. These goats, with their weird terrestrial bodies, non amphibious bodies. Now, the Nomai technology brought back from, from space by our astronauts has been a great boon to Outer Wild Ventures and allowed us to modify expedition gear in exciting and useful ways. For example, the little scout now, now boosts a warp retrieval capability uh, that uh, allows astronauts to recall their scouts almost instantly. This has been dramatically reduced the number of scouts lost through the depths of space. Yep, and that's their warp. Oh yeah, crystal taken from ruin on Brittle Hollow. Yep, Cre create local gravity. Distortion. It was most likely used to traverse street surfaces. Try it out. Oh, yeah. And we have a body. Do some fancy footwork. Work. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the, uh,. Uh, the the crash escape pod on uh I remember the name Ember no there's two twins the Ember Hourglass twins Ash yeah Ember twin that's on Timber Hearth oh boy this one if a star is massive enough <clears throat> It will continue to fuse carbon into heavier el elements, and ultimately the star will collapse under its own gravity, then explode in a violent event called a supernova. Based on Chert's observations, this will one day be the fate of our own sun. When the star core uh, contracts, it gets hotter, causing the outer legs to expand. The star has become a red giant. When the core is hard enough, hot enough, it starts to fuse helium into carbon. Wait, no, I think. This is the start. Stars like our sun generate light and heat by feeding hydrogen and helium. As it grows older, the star runs out of hydrogen and starts to contract. And then, yeah. Uh, it gets hotter, expand, the star to become a red giant. Of course, hot enough, it fuses helium with carbon. Which, um, fun fact. Uh, apparently it's possible that for some stars that instead of going supernova, if their conditions are right, they can become a core, just a giant crystal of iron. Like, they won't explode, but they'll just become a giant crystal of iron. Which, just saying that is dope. Coming soon, huh? Future site of our next exhibit. If you enjoyed the time with Outer Wilds, please, cons <laughs> please consider supporting our planned museum expansions. Our quest to explore the first reaches of our solar system wouldn't be possible without generous visitors like you. We thank you profusely for your support. We hope to see you soon. And here we are. An important spot. The strange lock moving around this grotto appears to react to conscious observation. The level-headed among us realize that there must be some 
sort of optical illusion at play, but Gabbro claims the rock exists in all possible states until it is observed. Whatever that means, whatever is actually happening, both sides of this debate agree that the fact is extremely creepy. Da-da! Da-da! Oh yeah, I don't have a scout yet. Ba-da! I'm just trying to see if I can jump on it, not necessarily... Okay, I'm giving up. And I know the thing is, like, jumping out over there, but anyway, let's... Oh, wait, first let's talk to this... Not talk. Let's look at this bastard. You. I hate the fact that it's still bobbing up and down. And the fact that it's still alive. You. I just- I loathe you. I despise you. <laughs> anyway! <laughs> uh, this anglerfish spe specimen was uh, found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to the Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. And catching up with chat because I forgot to. <laughs> uh, ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. No, my pretty hexahorns. The uh, the freeze time options when talking to others not on by default. Oh, uh, Pinman, the shockingly fragile bone structure is such a nice, nice hint. <laughs> the shockingly fragile bone structure. Oh yeah, cause cool. Uh, I think no, I have weak bones because they operate on artificial. Gravity. Oh yeah, lower than temper hearts gravity or artificial gravity. Yeah, Pinman. I think I uh, I meant in terms of what the vessel is. You had it. Ember Twin is the starting empty one, and Ash is the starting full one. I thought the iron stuff is why it starts to heat up, because light items can't go through fusion. Wait. Oh, it's daytime. Okay. Uh. <laughs> uh. But iron can't. Among Us. <laughs> Thank you, Kes Coil. Uh, the time stop jump is directly left at the entrance to the, uh, to the quantum area, by the way. Uh, Pinman, bone structure thing is based on research into how people would be born if in zero G. I mean, yeah. Now that also tracks for the Nomai. They, they are explore, you know, they are space nomads. By choice, but... Kesava, we're nearly ready, Felix. Ready. Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Felix, fort fortunately, the Elterox's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. After all, this time, I'm, thr I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. And then this symbol. Uh, the piece of know my writing was essential de to deciphering their unique language. Although the text is linear, know my text often branches off from a central point. Interestingly, each branch tends to be written by a different author. <sighs> uh, I've been putting this off. Let's let's keep going. <laughs> um. Now what? I kind of want to get the. The Chiva was like first loop, right? So it'd have to start a new expedition anyway. Then again, that's something I could try later. I'm. Like, the reason why I'm not doing the witness today is because I didn't have the brain space for it. <laughs> for doing, you know, the challenge, but. You know, first let me get some water. Ah, <sighs> do the mop. But. I don't know. Like, do I have the brain space for uh, planning out the route? I mean, maybe. Well, let's start the Hornfells. Uh, there you are. I just finished pre fight observations, and local conditions are good. Time to get our new assassin off the ground. And he'll be our first astronaut ever equipped with a Nomai translator, too. I confess, I've been giddy all day just thinking about it. We're better equipped than ever to unravel the mysteries of Nomai. 
You and Hal should be very proud of your work. Tell me, what's your plan once you once you're in space? Uh, I want to go somewhere no one's gone before. No, I want to meet up with the other travelers. I think. I think. Not, yeah, been one. Yeah, yeah if something. Uh, but, 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 oh, yeah, been, uh, yeah, it's just something you'd have to do when not going for archaeologists. Yeah, if you want to chill today, instead, check out the first three loops, Gabro. That's fun, too. We also worked on translator, which is. <laughs> we also worked on the translator, which is very cozy core. You know what? Yeah. I love the fact that Hal and the protagonist both work on the translator. Um. You know what? I'm going to hang out with homies. So I think we're going to meet up with Gabro, and then we're also going to meet up with a homie. I might have guessed as much. No sense in making a translator tool if you're not going to use it to translate anything. We've barely scratched the surface and know my writing in our solar system, so we still know very little about them. We have we have no idea if they're originally here, or traveled here, or why they disappeared. That tool of yours should prove indispensable to solving the mystery of this ancient species. Well then, looks like all that's left is to send you off. All in all, it's a fine day for a launch. I'm ready to get off this rock. Excellent. You'll be needing the launch codes then. Here they are. Best get off the ground before Slate makes any more modifications to the ship, eh? Good luck out there. Let me know if it, if I can help you with anything. Hello again. Uh. Not. Oh boy. Oh wait. Something I need to do. View map. This view is always so great. Oh, hello. What's this big elliptical? Hello. Oh, cool. White hole station. Big f elliptical. What's its big elliptical? You can't do this to me. Hell zone. Hourglass Twins, Giant Steep, Brittle Hollow. Hmm. I wonder. Can I spot the moon? Not Alterock. The moon. Well, I don't know if I can. Or maybe not from here. Oh, wait. Where's the, uh... Uh, the interloper. Oh, did I spend so much time that's not uh, showing up? Anyway, uh, checking out the chat. Uh, oh, Mary, I should go sleep. All right, good night, Mary. Thanks. <laughs> hope you can rest well. Or, I hope you can get some rest in. At the very least. But, yeah, um, I don't know where the interloper is, and also this big elliptical, but I guess we'll find out. And catching up with chat. Oh, hydrate. All right, fine. I'll take another drink of water. Thanks, Mary. Uh, um, it's been like 45 plus minutes, dear. Uh, it dies after like 20. Oh, that makes sense. Because, Coil, I don't think you can account for quantum object on the wooden honorary. Know what? That's fair. Also, God, do I go... Working on translator stuff would be very cozy, but there's the potential of okay. Now I okay, we're gonna be cozy today because I haven't flown the ship in a year, so we'll be cozy and gaze into the eyes. Of the Nomai statue.
and the game's kind of taking a bit to load. <laughs> Pidman, our GF could be chilling at her home. Can we also visit Sully? We're gonna visit Sully. We're going to visit. Also, I love the goat eyes. We're going to visit her. Of course we're going to visit her. <laughs> oh, so did you get a good luck to know my statue? The statue looked at me and opened its eyes. Whoa, whoa. The statue was doing what? So it opened its eyes and then you saw images from your own memories and glowing lights flying around? You mean like a hallucination? Listen, no offense, but are you sure you're okay to launch, like, medically speaking? No, that statue's definitely weird. I mean, if you're saying it happened, then I guess maybe it did, but why? Hornfield tried everything to get the statue's eyes to open. Nothing like this ever happened to them. I don't think you're going to get any answers from the museum statue, but Gabriel said they were uh, going to go back to Giant's Deep. Don't know which island they're on, though. Maybe, uh, maybe they'll be able to tell you more. On the other hand, Gavro's, you know, Gavro. So maybe you're better off searching for, for more info on your own. Oh, geez, now I'm really jealous you're going into space. Hey, see if you can use your, uh, our translator tool to find out more about statue, okay? Good luck and safe flying. Safe flying. Ah. Where's the Nomai statue in the museum from? Oh, from Giant's Deep. Gavro fished it out of the oceans and brought it back here for study. Hornfields doesn't know much about it yet, just that it's crazy old and super tough. I wonder why the Nomai carved it. Apparently, Gabriel went back to Giant's Heap to try to learn more about the statue. They'll be, uh, maybe they'll find out more answers there. What if I'll discover anything cool in space? Hey, you never know. Maybe you'll be the one to uncover the Nomai mysteries. Or maybe you'll discover a new kind of rock or something. Honestly, as long as you don't end up, <laughs> as long as they don't end up naming new safety equipment after you, I'm sure you'll done a great, <laughs> done a great job. God. <laughs> Check out the chat. Uh, Pitman, that's her GF. Kiss Coil, that's my wife too. Cap. <laughs> Pitman, remember to mention the light show to Hal. Specifically ask where you got it from. I think. Where did they make the statue? That's. I want you to see. Alright. Ah. Where they got it from? Oh, where is the statue museum from? Oh, Giant Deep. Alright. Where at Giant Deep should I find Gabbro? Ah, uh, Gabbro said they're going back to Giant Deep. Which is wherever they found the Nomad statue. One of the islands, I think. You remember Gabbro plays a flute, right? Like, all the time. I bet your signal will find them easily. If you do see Gabro, say hi for me. Oh, wait. I remembered something. Free fight checklist. Freeze time while talking to the others. Freeze time while talking to characters and reading journals or signs. This will prevent character animation from playing during conversation. Note, there are certain periods where time cannot be frozen. Very important. Ah... Uh... Where on Giant Deep could I find Gabbro? Uh, okay. I saw that one. Why did the no make the statue? Good question. You know how Gabbro knocked a, f a fragment off uh, the statue while they were hauling it back to from Giant Deep? Once we analyzed the fragment and figured out the stone it is made from can store information, our slate ended up repurposing it for his ship's computer. I'm not sure what the statue opening its eyes had to do with anything. Maybe the statue was made from for storing information too? Is there anything else? Um Why did they make the statue? Yeah, that they put that's why your ship's computer is linked up to your memories. It's made from the same statue. Not see you later. Uh, be careful out there in space. Um Alright. Let's go talk to Gabbro. And then, you know, Borat's voice, my wife. No, that's absolutely not Borat's voice. I've heard. 
Then again, I haven't really watched Borat. Also, then, <laughs> this is all got to me, but, um, I feel like I'm going the long about way to get there. Oh, hey, Defra. Hello, oh, Astronaut, are you going to space today? Are you going to space and never come back like Feltzford did? Ah, don't worry. I'm, I'll be back. That's what Feltzford said, too, but they never did. I want to be really sad I don't come back. Like how sad it makes them to talk about Feldspar. So I should make sure you don't get lost in space too. Oh, Feldspar. Also... Uh, sorry. <laughs> Looks like you're ready for takeoff. The excitement at launch is fun and all, but can't wait to get back to work on the new ship. We're working on fixing the olive plant's uh, avoidance system for this one. Uh, sorry. Yep. Love having a ship that the autopilot doesn't have an avoidance system. Love it. Important lore. So much important lore from there. Going back into... God, I haven't played this in a, over a year, but my brain's already like, okay. Remember... Remember your training. Also, there's our cool uh, statue fragment that stores information. And here's the different planets. And also, there's rumor mode. The one and only Harthian Village, as well as the main source of explosions on this planet. Alright, we get to see that. Uh. The cave at Sender, uh, Timber Hearth used by the Outer Worlds Venture to train new astronauts. Ah, excuse me. Gabbro. Hal says Gabbro went back to Giant Seat to try and learn more about the Nomai Statue in the Observatory. And Nomai Texan Observatory talks about calibrating some sort of device on the Alterac. Alterac. Rock. Alright, so. Wait. Um, map mode, giant steep, Gabbro. Can I mark? I can't mark Gabbro. All right. Um. All right. So, <laughs> let, let me check with chat real quick. <laughs> so no light show then? Yeah, that's weird. I saw no light show. Um. That's lore. Oh, and you can only hear that info first loop, which is weird that you can miss it out. Um, Kezko, so no light show then? Kitty mentioned it. It specifically speak to Hal again after the force conversation, then ask why the statue was made. Oh, I thought you were talking about something completely different, not referring to the statue connection. Yeah, alright, yeah. Uh, Pim, my apologies, but it's also first loop only info. Kezko, so yeah, I already knew that all this then. Whoops. Alright. Well, let's continue. Let's go. Um, view map. I can only lock on. Dreadful. Alright. Let's make sure we're not gonna get crushed by anything. Gauge autopilot. Where is the button I'm thinking about? To I know there's a button to look around. Hmm. Oh, the interloper's back. Must be quality of life change. Yeah. God, I forgot how big Giant Seep is. That you're getting closer to it. It's like, oh, it should be slowing down, right? And it's like... It, it big. Also... Oh! Wait, no, that's Timber Hearth. Ah, there's the Ender Helper. What? Uh. Oh, God, this is still terrifying. Love it. Oh, love it. Love it. 
Also, I'm still good at this. Also, did I find... No, that's not the one going counterclockwise. I was like, did I find that one already? That said, I did find Gavro. Um... I just now remembered how I'm going to find my ship. Mm. Wrong button. Wow, it's been some time since I played this. Um, open hatch. Signal identified. Gabra. Oh, hello! No, oh, wait, no, something else. <laughs> we found Gavro. Oh, well, then again, it's not like. Okay, with time pause, I'm definitely not going to be launching into space. So that's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, look, check out the chat again, because, cool, listen, man, I play this game very thoroughly, so I've become the Outer Wilds Encyclopedia. I think down on D-pad for, or Pitman, I think down D-pad, oh, for looking around without moving the ship. Alright, uh, Pitman, never meant to imply there's something you missed. Alright, uh, Pitman, use the giant steep one as your entry to the QM. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, because the ship barely moves if it's not on the land, if it's not on the landing pad, though. Make sure when you're done, you exit into giant steep ref reflection. When you're done, you exit onto the giant seeds or Oh. They'll likely be pulled into gravity well. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, when you make sure you're done, you exit onto the giant seeds reflection. Alright. They'll likely be pulled into the gravity well. Oh! Oh, when I exit the reflection. Yeah, no, that's an important thing to consider. Oh boy. Anyway! <laughs> Ah, uh, let's, let's gabbro it up. Let me drink some water. Oh, nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't laugh, but I think I might have had some kind of spiritual experience with a rock shaped like a face. Yo, me too! You're saying the statue I brought to the museum started glowing at you? Yeah, it sounds about right. One minute, I'm standing on an island, looking at Nomai's sculpture on the beach. Next thing I know, I'm looking, it's looking back at me. Glowing. It replays everything I've just done, like it's been watching me through my own eyes. You know? And then suddenly it stops and everything's normal again. It didn't seem bad, just weird. Were we the only ones who saw that happen? I tried radio on Hornfells and asking them about it, but they told me I must have just had nodded off here and gone confused. Then we talked about dreams to until Hornfail told me to get oh, refill my oxygen tank before I talked myself to death. So that's what that's what's new with me, but hey, this is the first solo voyage. Let's talk about you, you know? How is space treating you? What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system. Same as you. But I'll tell you what, a lot of space really gives me room to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Ah, where should I go exploring Giant's Deep? Ah, I hear something you may like. I saw a bright flash in the sky not too long ago. Something mu uh, must have happened up there, up, uh, up there in orbit around the planet. What else? Uh, what else? Oh, have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing uh, it's the, the island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I'll give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gapro relaxation scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the one with the uh, two islands connected by a natural rock arch? Rock arch? Uh, well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see. Some of this planet. <laughs> I know, right? Oh, you mean like tell you more about it? Oh, I got you. 
Well, Giant Deep is massive and mostly water, no surprises there. There's strong current of waves beneath the surface that prevents anything from sinking below it. Seriously, I tried everything I could think of to go get past that current, and neither of there worked. As as for land masses, I have counted four islands, including this one, but also the one with the Nomai statue I saw on the beach. You've seen the cyclones, yeah? Yeah, they're hard to miss. They'll toss everything up in their path, islands included. Little tip, if you get picked up, try to land in water. Less likely, less likely to kill you. And... <laughs> Catching up with chat again. Pinman. Oh, yeah. Pinman, the ship doesn't stay on the quantum. on the quantum moon when you use a tower. Everything. Neither idea. It's a shame Gavro <laughs> never visited the North Pole. Yeah. God, that'd be great. The ship doesn't stay on the QM when you use the tower. I forgot about that. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's a shame the government never visited the quantum North Pole. That would have 100% expanded their quantum knowledge. It's cool. Yeah, they could have met Santa. <laughs> um, Gavro, where's your ship? That's a good question. It's definitely on this planet somewhere. I mean, unless a cyclone game that's off in space, I guess. Heh, <laughs> that'd be pretty nuts. I hope it's not too lonely. Oh, you weirdo. Also, wait. Um, photo mode. That cave is filled with ghost matter. Gotta forgot two times gravity hampers your jump. Immensely so. Any cyclones in visible range? Nope. Gonna yeah, keep exploring or er, loop around here. Jetpack full. Oh, you can just doze off? I forgot you can just doze off immediately. And because of our trees, we have enough oxygen for... Ah, what a crunching. Oh well. Let me pause to catch up with chat. Oh, wait, they're, uh, Pidmon, and they've already quite inventive with it. The cave taught us, that cave taught us lore and pain, because this island can be lifted into space and then splashed back down again. It taught us that ghost matter isn't able to penetrate water. Oh, yeah, it does teach us that, which explains how hard things still live. It's very neat, and also pain. Yeah, it is pain. Great pain. And let's see if I can not break my ship while flying. I had forgotten how to fly for a moment. Okay, yeah, it's down on the D-pad to look. Alright. Let's just fly around a bit. There is cool, but ghost matter. How do you take pictures? I know that that has ghost matter, and that's why you can't just... Also, yeah. Ah, uh, great. Wow. I really... Thank goodness I'm not going for the, uh... <laughs> first loop run. Because, oh boy, I am just a mess with remembering how any of this works. Love these jelly. But yeah, um... I'm trying to think. I probably have enough time to go to another planet? Which may sound weird, because who would want to leave Giant Steep? 
but I also don't want my poor, poor ship to, I don't know. There's other places I can go. If I can... Let's see here. No, oh! Now I can meet Grandpa, or Grandpa. Also, wife time. Can do picture mode from ship launcher. It's handheld only. Alright. Where am I? Ah. Uh, know what? Um. I'm trying to remember. Remember who you are. No, um. Know what? Let's try. Why do I want to do. Wait. What are you? Okay, that's Simber Hearth. God, I don't remember how to play this. <laughs> ah. All right, let me head back to Timber Hearth, I guess. For <laughs> oh wait, is that is that what I think it is? Hey. Autopilot. Yep. It's wife time, y'all. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of forgot some. the land. Ah, okay. It spawned in. <laughs> Let me pause real quick. Nothing, <laughs> nothing loaded in yet. I was like, oh no. Did I do something wrong? Um, God, I know the rules of quantum mechanics in this game aren't too tough to remember, but I was like, oh, did I fuck up? Oh. <laughs> Let me catch up with chat. Um, uh, Pidman, wife time. Uh, you can't do picture mode from the ship launcher. The handheld only. Physical, cause coil, solly. Uh, Pidman, Gen Steep is the best for wife time. If you still want to get your oh, if you still want to get your ship back after, otherwise, it'll just be you'll just be in space sand ship. Oh, I forgot about that. Womp. <laughs> anyway, uh, cause coil, it doesn't have a name. Then it, if it doesn't have a name, then it is. Uh, if only there was an autopilot option. <laughs> if only there's an autopilot option. Yeah, me just horrifically flying through space. Guess Cole, what the hell? <laughs> Pidman, help me. <laughs> Guess Cole, puffball moon. Yep. God, this is horrifying. Quantum Moon, baby! I was able to land the surface Quantum Moon. There's more to explore here. Yeah, there is. God. Quantum Moon, Quantum Flux. Oh yeah, I forgot to scan it earlier. <sighs> yeah, I kind of forgot how some of this went. 
so this will be fun. Am I doing this right? No, let me pause and look at chat. Am I doing this right? Oh my god. Thanks for the clip. Hollow Moon. Oh. She's sleep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Cole, yeah, I, I love the Ambit Dragon game so much. And yeah, she's, she's just sleeping. She's just sleeping right now. It, it's fine. It's fine. I know we're trying to get to the North Pole of the Quantum Moon. I remember that much. Right? We're trying to get to the pole. Like, we started at the South Pole, and we're trying to go north. Right? Like... Like, I vaguely remember that much. Um, do we have a compass? Oh yeah, we do have a compass. Oh. Recall the rules of quantum entanglement. You have recalled the rule of quantum imaging. Recall the rule of the sixth location. Yep, quantum entanglement. I remember that. Chip log updated. Wait. The twins. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me. Sorry for pausing so It's just like. Ah. I forgot how great and like. The sounds. Just everything about the quantum moon is gorgeous. But, uh. <laughs> Ah, Binman. Uh, Quantum Tower, spin to win. Need to get to uh, GB or DB mirrors. Giant Steep or... What's Steep? Dark Bramble. Oh. To get to the north side. Then swap back to a different one to get to the tower. To sh Oh, to get to the tower to show it the north. Alright. Blink. Soothe flashlight. It's the best way to change location. Okay, spin to win. Need to get to Giants Deep or Mares to get to the north side. So swap back to a different one to get the tower to show at the north. Alright. Alright. So, Giants Deep or Dark Bramble to get there. Yeah, I hate doing anything in Dark Bramble, but, like, let's go. I mean, thankfully there's no fish here. Right? Right? Oh, hey. Jellyfish. <sighs> the atmosphere. You're right, because well, that's the term I'm looking for. The atmosphere is gorgeous. And I need to head north. Right? The head north, and then, God, the the brambles being so dark and uh, ah, just gets at my nerves. Let's see here. We need to get North Pole. Right, no. Let me pause. Let me read <laughs> your, your explanation again. Quantum Tower has been to win. Get to Giant's Deep or Dark Bramble Mirrors to get to the to get to the north side, and then swap back to a different one to get the tower to show up at the north. To swap back to a different one to get the tower to show up at the north. All right. Let's see here. Ah, the atmosphere. It's so gorgeous, but also, I forgot how genuinely terrifying this game can be. Oh, it's blocked. It's completely blocked, ain't it? Yeah. 
Alright, this is pretty north, so this... This ain't bad, per se. Alright, <laughs> uh, let me check the chat again, because, god, I forgot how this went. <laughs> and the atmosphere is really good to me. God, this game's actually terrifying, huh? <laughs> Uh, Kezcoil, get as close to the north as you can, then use the tower. Spin to win! Yeah, alright. Giant Steep. The Jeep Diet. Hello? Oh, hello? Oh. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Mr. Obama. <laughs> Hello? Is that good? I forget if this is good to find or not. Uh, Timber Hearth, Ashman's. Oh, okay. Ashman's Burnout Hollow. Is this good to f find? I forget. Let's go in. <sighs> Solanum, I'm here. After watching it, watching it wander the skies for so long, I'm about to stand for the first time on the quantum moon. As expected, my shuttle has landed at the moon's south uh, south pole. I'll make the remainder of my journey, <laughs> the remainder of my journey on foot. We don't know why the quantum moon always welcomes its visitors at its south pole. Just that, this is, uh, this is true. <sighs> it's such unknown sinister. Now, though, I understand. They bear, they bear no ill will. The universe is, and we are. <sighs> I'm ready. Oh, honey. Would that actually take us back? I'm not gonna try it. I'm not gonna try that this time. Ah, sorry, <laughs> atmosphere. Oh. Ah, the enemy still gets to me. Right. God. Thank you. Na 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 Uh, that's cool, that's a shuttle pinman. Uh, that, <laughs> um, oh, you're using abbreviations for the different planets. TH, Timber Hearth, uh, AT, BH, have an open north pole, but a barrier on the equator, uh, Giant Steep, and Dairy Point Breen have a closed north pole, but an open equator. Yeah, um, Timber Hearth. What's AT? Uh, the, the what's AT. What is AT? I remember planets. Um, I remember planets. Do I remember the planets? I'll, um, the twins. Are they? Ash Twins. Ah, I forgot the- how did I forget their names? <laughs> but yeah, I guess it's called D Dairy Breen. Oh, shit! We're here, baby! I forgot that we're here. Son of a bitch. Ah! <laughs> I forgot we have to be north. We have to- ah. That said, I, I do love how this looks like mixed paint or whatever. Like some, like either some sort of cold rock or like mixed oil paints or whatever. <laughs> uh, spin to win. Do you have Brittle Hollow? Your north side looks... Mm. 
Oh. Huh. Yeah, no. Do you have an... Hey! Oh, I don't like the look of that. But, uh... We're here? Uh... We gotta see my girl! <laughs> we gotta see my wife! <laughs> We gotta see the wife! Ah! We gotta hurry! We gotta meet the wife! We gotta meet the wife! Ah! We gotta... We gotta... No! Stop singing, fat... Stop singing! Stop it with the swan song! No, we can't! <laughs> it took me! We gotta, we gotta find her. No, 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 no. Uh, welp. We found the wife. Hello. Who are you? Hello. and they instantly go brain dead. Uh, and the little grunt in our voice because we woke up without our... <laughs> ah, how, much, how, how long have we been going? No, I... Uh, okay, we haven't died often enough. <laughs> Sorry, my voice. <laughs> Let me drink some water. Uh, um. <laughs> oh, hold up. You're, you're gonna want to get the launch codes from the observatory first. Uh, I already got them from the observatory, remember? Huh. Must be inhaling more fumes than I realized. That stuff is bone. Well, if you got the codes, I'm not gonna stop you. Good luck and take care of that ship. We gotta go. Ah, I don't even. Ah, I just feel so heartbroken. Ah. I guess also we should check the ship. <laughs> I found a, I found a sleeping no mind a spacesuit near the South Pole. Quantum Shrine? No my shrine that wanders about the quantum moon. <gasps> Excuse me, you have recalled the rule of quantum imaging is inscribed next to a mural of a tower on an island. Recall the rule of quantum entanglement is inscribed next to a mural of a quantum shard in the cave. Uh, recall the rule of the sixth location inscribed next to a mural at tower hanging up above a black hole. Solanum shuttle. A no my named Solanum Solanum landed her shuttle at the quantum moon south pole and proceeded to make the rest of the journey on foot. Visitors to the quantum moon always arrive at the south pole for reasons unknown to the no my. Sixth location. I met a living no my named Solanum at the south pole. There's more to explore here. You're damn right there is. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, second camera visit. Yeah, we we need a mate. We need a mate. The, the homie. We gotta wait. Um. Uh. 
Gavros Island. There's more to explore here. Is there more to explore here? Oh yeah, Gavro found no my statue on another island. The statue's eyes started glowing, and Gavro saw their memories flash before their eyes. Ah, all right. We, all right. I'm trying to think of what to do now that I better know how to do. Wait, am I suited up? Okay, I'm suited up. God. All right. Um, brain. I can think. Um, no. At first, I want to meet Grandpa. Actually, if I can. Actually, let's park a bit. Let's meet Zampa. Let's not crash into Tampa's home. Let's not be a rude child. <laughs> All right, remembering a little bit how to actually play this game. Unidentified elderly person discovered. <laughs> Ah, I'm just excited. Uh, nice seeing Esker. Oh, hey, it's it's you. Uh, ground control didn't tell me you were launching. Long time no see. Actually, I guess it's been a long time since I've seen anyone. I don't the other travelers come by. Uh, the lunar outpost saw more traffic back when our ships were less sophisticated. Need more frequent repairs. No, nowadays, it's mostly used to keep an, a set of eyes on things. Sometimes Chert comes by to say hi, but. Gabro's Gabro, and you know how Ryberg feels about unnecessary space flight. I don't go, uh, I mean, anything else you want to ask about? Seems lonely up here. A little. I'm in touch with ground control, Hornfeld's Goslin, mostly, and they radio up the chat now and then. Now when ground control forgets, I'm up here, and they usually do. I launched my little scout at the village. They forget about you? You spy on us? What? No, it's not spy. It's a uh, one-way communication that none of the villagers know about because I never told them. And, uh, anything else you want to talk about? Um, was that you whistling? Probably, or actually definitely. The other travels car travelers carry instruments, so they don't bother whistling. You can pick up their music with a cinemascope, you know? Best spot for that is the uh, North Pole. Great reception. North Pole is marked with a uh, red on your minimap, but the Alter Rock is a pretty small moon, really. Just go north. You can't miss it. What is this place? Ha ha ha! Very funny. Oh, stars above. You're serious, aren't you? That's just depressing. <sighs> Welcome to the Lunar Outpost, which apparently the space program doesn't bother to teach anyone anymore. When we first started out of the wilds, travelers used to bring their ships here all the time for repairs. Our space fair and technology has improved loads since then, but the, the older ships tended to uh, fall apart a lot, like more than do now. Using that post cut down the number of launches and landings taking place in the village and also the number of fires. Nowadays, nowadays though, it's mostly just me up here, raising saplings from timber hearth, keeping an eye on things. Well, talk to you later. <laughs> Yeah, ask your best up on. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, dear. A landing pad built into landing pad. I love that landing pad of alien design. Esker's signal scope log. 
Day 48. Still not picking up Ryback's banjo from Brittle Hollow. I'm sure they're fine, but I'll feel better once I can hear the music. Day 51. Listen to Chirp play for a little today. Unrelated. Someone should probably tell Parfi and Gosselin their flirting is not, <laughs> not subtle from an aerial perspective. <coughs> Day 55. Banjo music coming in loud and clear today. Sound like Ryback's doing okay. That oof. I was worried. Day 63. Today I thought I heard something strange. I don't know. Probably nothing. Day 70. No, it's back again today. Something strange is coming from Timber Hearth. Day 76. Okay, I know this is crazy, but the sound from Timber... Wait, no. I'm doing a different voice. Shifted to one of the younger Timber Hearth. Uh, I, know I, heard, I know that's crazy, but the sound from Timber Hearth sounds exactly like Felspar's harmonica. But Felspar disappeared in space ages ago. It, it can't be them. Day 88. It's still here. This is creepy. Maybe my signal scope's broken? I uh, better talk to Nace. Yep. The harmonica. And coming from the smoking crater. You love to see it. You love to see the musical instruments of people long thought, de you know, dead or gone, suddenly uh, playing again. Love ghost stories. You feel? Um, Gabro. We need to visit Gabro. Redeem posture check. All right. Let me stretch. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Let me try to avoid ramming into the sun. Trying Get my tra trajectory right. Activating booster rockets. Forget how big the planet is and be scared every time it just suddenly zooms. Oh. <laughs> ah. There's always a delight to be be terrified of things. Let me not crash on top of Oh, there he's about to be launched into space, ain't he? Right there. Um. Ah, uh, do I want to risk landing on it? I don't know. Maybe. You no, know let's look down. Hello. Bonk. <laughs> Let me pause to check up on chat before I do something silly and uh, explode. <laughs> anyway, park, I am. Uh, Alright, all right, yeah. Let's park. Uh, well. Oh, yeah, this would actually be the best time to park for the, the thing I'm thinking about. Let me try to lodge myself in here. Alright. Actually, let me check on what's all lunar lookout, harmonica signal. Yeah, map mode. Yep. Esker's camp. 
Yeah, <laughs> Scooby's growing a crop of trees at their camp. They seem to be doing okay, but they've probably been alone on the moon for far too long. Lunar lookout, a lunar platform with specta spectacular view of the solar system. Let's give you the signal scope here to keep tabs on the other travelers. Ah, <laughs> mm. All right, let's not let's stop being terrified and look at things and talk. Wait, first we gotta talk to the homie. <coughs> Let me drink some water first. Sorry. Ah. Uh, okay, okay, here's a weird one for you. I think I might have just, like, died? Somehow? I radioed Hornfells at the, uh, observatory to ask them about it, but they seem, they're convinced I fell asleep out here and had a nightmare or something. Do you remember, you know, dying a few minutes ago, maybe? Oh yeah, we definitely died. Okay, cool. Uh, that's what I thought. It was all way too vivid to be a dream. I radioed Hornfels again to ask if they had died too, but I'm pretty sure they thought I was being metaphorical. Well, if you remember dying, then I guess I didn't fall asleep and have a weird dream or something. But SARS above, what's going on then? And then there is that thing with the Nomai statue earlier. Come to think of it, when I died, I saw what... I'm pretty sure where my memory is going backwards, just like the time with the statue. Do you think the Nomai statues are related to us dying somehow? So, we died, but we aren't dead. That's pretty unusual for Harthians. I'm going to need to do some serious thinking before I come up with any theories. Maybe I'll have figured out something. <laughs> Maybe I'll have something figured out by the next time you come by. So, what's up? Where? No, I. <laughs> See you later. Cool, cool. Take it easy out there. Ship log updated. Chip log. Ah, Gavin remembers dying. They saw their memories flash before their eyes. Just like the time of the statue. There's more to explore here. Is it? Is the thing that's more to explore here... Um... What was it? I forget. Is it the ghost matter and like seeing it underwater? Oh! Hey, Muse. <laughs> but here <laughs> we Ah, uh, we're revisiting Outer Wilds. And. Because I know the DLC is out. I don't have it yet, but. Revisiting the game doesn't hurt, you know? Is that damage or does it just always look like that? that one spot. Well, I say only the one spot, but like... Mm. <coughs> uh, Pinman. Oh, speaking of DLC, do you want to follow the bird column f uh, from the museum? Is there one? Like... The exhibit isn't even there. Like, for me. I'm guessing because I don't have the DLC, which, you know, fair. I forgot I'd be sucked up in here. But. Um. But, 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 but. I'm trying to think of what I want to do now. Be a mode. <laughs> uh, stunned. That's cute. Oh, the exhibit has one of two pictures. Hey, yeah. Uh, no, I. Um, yeah. Oh, 
yeah, I can't track. It has to be on the computer. Chip log. Oh, sure. Let's mark the village. 21 kilometers away. I'm afraid I'm going to be launched into space. Lift off landing camera. Alright. Wait. Did I... Oh, looks like I may be launching the space, which, if I will be, then I think I'll wait. But also, I think I found... No way. Ah. I think we're going to be... Yep. Lift off. <laughs> oh, narrowly avoided not being fucking murked by the, uh, thing. Great. Anyway, <laughs> let's go back to the village. <laughs> God, love that. Love being launched in space. Also, if you're wondering, oh, why aren't you using the, uh, uh, the autopilot? I'm afraid of the sun. And he may be like, oh, that's, that seems a bit irrational. No, it's not. When it comes to the autopilot and the sun, it's like, you can't, you can't be cautious enough. You cannot ever be cautious enough about the sun. <laughs> there, like, like, there's a reason why my, one of the emotes I have is wasted. And also map check specifically, but like I think I should make you know redesign that at some point to make it more obvious than being burned to death, <laughs> burned to death in the sun. But ah, <laughs> uh. ah. Uh. What's this? Oh, this is the forest, ain't it? What's this place? Kinda forgot. Is that the village? No, it's not. What is this place? I don't remember it. Oh, we'll park here. Unbuckle. Quantum fluctuations, wild adventures. All right, <laughs> let me catch up with chat. Um, but about uh, Pinwin, we're still planning on DLC uh, main day streams after two E. With Chiva hunting base game on your bone stays? Ah, oh, maybe. Uh, so to me, there's no avoidance feature on the ship at all, right? Oh, no, there's none. Like, they even... T uh, Slate even talks about it. That, like, oh, you know, when you get back, we'll, uh... You know, after your, you know, <laughs> solo voyage is done, we'll start to work on the next, you know, like, the new ship. And the, you know, the autopilot, you know. The, the autopilot's avoidance features. Sorry for that. A bit of a nope, and it and it can undershoot or overshoot as well. Oh, that's the quantum grove. Okay. This though, I don't. That like the grove. Yeah, I don't remember this. Is this new?
Chert's research notes. <laughs> Property of Chert. I've, I've, detected, I've detected a strange signal coming from somewhere within the grove in this crater. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon, so it stands to reason the two signals are probably related. We don't know much about the quantum moon, seeing as no one's ever been been able to land on it. But hopefully studying the signal in the, the grove will reveal more about it. Chip log updated. Any ghost? If ghosts exist there, you have to tell me. So let's see the ship log. Quantum signal. Oh yeah, I jumped ahead so much. South pole. It's very similar to the signal emitted by the quantum moon. Interesting. Sorry, I just love hearing them jamming out whenever, you know, you can get the overlap of the instruments. Always a delight. This grove leading to the quantum grove? Okay, yeah, I think this is leading to the quantum grove. Yep. Grove shard. Part that didn't disappear. Hello. Oh, it's a geyser. <laughs> that scared me for a moment. God. I'm gonna put that away for now so that I don't keep. So I stop scaring myself. God, anyway. Yeah, I forgot about this place. God, I wish it was daytime. I can't see anything, and I keep getting spooking myself out. That said, where are the poems? Also, let me check with chat. <laughs> uh, pseudomies, the only ghosts here are the ones you carry with you, kitty. Uh, Pedro, the geyser ants are also quantum. What? The geyser underwater vents are also quantum, by the way? Really? Huh. Ah, uh, Pseudomuse. They always got to disappear to somewhere unseen. So if you're looking at all potential spots, they can't move. Yeah. Really? That's quantum? Is it? Oh. Across old bark, an ancient glade, it's always dark, the quiet shade. The ancient glade. A 
See, I'm trying to see if it's like will appear somewhere over here because the arrow is pointing this way. Hmm. Wait, I hear the geyser. But I don't or I hear a geyser going off. It has to be this one. None of them are close by. Give me a check on chat. <laughs> oh yeah, even the tree here, the trees here are quantum. Yep, I love it. Oh, there it is. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait. A cross old bark. Okay, their placement changes. Bonk. In the ancient glade. God. In the ancient glade, it goes to the right. We'll have to cross old bark, the quiet shade, it's always dark. Hmm. The ancient glades, ancient glade, right? I wonder if it's like, if I keep going right, I'll find it. Which I know I've been distracted from, uh, Solanum. Solanum. Like, I realize this. I'm no fool. But, sometimes, you know, you just gotta stop and smell the pine trees, you know? Wait. What? This is what you meant by it being quantum. Huh. 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 I never I, I never saw that when I was playing through this game. In ancient glades, the quiet shade. Oh, yeah, no, it it does change. Oh God. <sighs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Pidmon, the quantum poem. This is why Gab Gabro's smarty. Yes. Oh, the vents and where they launch, and where they launch to are quantum. Yeah. Goodness. Wait, and where did they launch to? Also, as fun as this is, you know what? <sighs> it's been a bit over two hours. I think I'm gonna... Yeah, I think this will be the end of the stream. As soon as we get the final... Alright, we'll wait for the end. I mean, what better place to enjoy it than in this gorgeous grove, you know? You know what? I've missed this. A perfect opportunity to be so casually... A cop? No, no, cop. To be so casual about, the, you know, just so casually. Yeah, I guess macabre works about you know, going to die soon. Not many games give you this such a great opportunity to be so like here. Also, see the muse. To answer your question. I was trying to see like, oh, can I find a way, you know? to mix the quantum poem in a way that, like, makes sense. Or in, like, various ways it makes sense.
And with that, <laughs> I gotta see it to me as, as um, in chat, it's a beautiful place to die. And yeah, it really was. God, that was terrifying. But yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Hope to see you again uh, some other time. I'm gonna try juggling about doing, you know, some things like the the witness challenge runs and you know smelling the you know smelling the pine trees yeah hope to see you all again later goodbye from this part of the universe yours